welcome back to another episode at KJR Customs. So as you can see, the channel has been rebranded. So guys, today we're going to be flashing the Honda. Uh, we're going to do a radiator flash. Like I mentioned before, this car is freaking dirty and I'm going to show you why. So guys, this is the main reason why I want to do a flush. I'm going to show you. Okay, be in mind the uh, reservoir is actually broken I need to get a new cap so if any of you guys have a spare cap or know where I can get one from please let me know just look at that it is freaking dirty even when I open the radiator look at that what is actually Dirty. So guys, like in the previous video, I said this is going to be quick and easy. This process, I'm going to take you all through step by step and you're going to know how to flush your car. Well, specifically a 99 model Honda Civic, but it's basically the same thing from 96 to 98, 99. So these are some of the basic things that you'll need. You'll need some water, you'll need something to catch all the antifreeze and dirty water coming out from the radiator you're gonna need a funnel some antifreeze and radiator flush so guys I'm not gonna use the radiator flush in the first go I'm actually gonna try and get out as much as I can whatever's in there currently and then I'm gonna top it up with water and then we're gonna see it from there so the first thing you'll need to do is actually go underneath the car now I'm gonna go underneath and if you look underneath the radiator, right directly underneath the radiator, you see this plug right here? This is your radiator drain plug. So you're actually going to twist this open like so. See I've moved it already. Now be careful this is plastic. Now don't turn too tight or too fast, it might break. So guys, once you open this out, make sure you have something to catch whatever, whatever antifreeze and whatever dirt liquid is gonna come out from here before you do anything so guys I've got my container to catch whatever crap comes out of this radiator so let's open it and see now keep in mind this is gonna come out gushing now see it's slowing down so in order for it to go faster, we're just gonna open the radiator cap and this is gonna, as you can see, it's coming out gushing. So I need to actually readjust this and put it to where it's flowing out nice into the container. So guys, while we wait for this thing to drain, I'm actually going to take out the reservoir and clean it. So guys, I actually took the, all the water out from here and this thing is like Daga water, literally it is so bad. Look at the inside of this thing, it is so freaking dirty. I'm actually gonna put a toothbrush inside or a bottle cleaner and then just get this thing nice and clean from the inside. So guys, I've managed to clean the reservoir as well as these pipes. I actually found a stone in one of these pipes and I blew everything out from here. I blew the pipes out and as you can see, it's looking a little bit better, but unfortunately I couldn't reach all the way down. And as well as in the side of here, I managed to scrub whatever else I could out. But um, I'm not really too concerned because there is going to be more dirt coming out after we do a couple more flushes. So I'm going to pull out the tray, let's see what it looks like. And this thing is freaking dirty. Look at this. Look at all that crap that came out from here. I mean, this is bad. This is like freaking dirty, dirty water. It's like muddy water. So guys, make sure you dispose of this very carefully and do not throw it anywhere. Uh, animals can get a hold of this here. If they do happen to drink this, they will die. Please guys, I have animals and I'm sure you have. Um, please do not keep this around. So guys, I'm gonna put this plug back into the radiator. This is the same plug we put out, we took out earlier on. And I'm gonna put it back in, I'm gonna top the car up with water. And we're gonna take it for its first spin.
So guys, I'm gonna start the car up. I filled it up with water. I'm gonna start it up and uh, try and burp the car. Now, when I mean burp the car, we're actually gonna squeeze on these pipings right here. You can see how the water level is actually coming up and down. Can you see? So that's just to get the air out of it. So now I'm going to take it for a first drive and then I'm going to watch the, the temperature gauge see if it overheats or anything like that there and if there's any leaks or anything when I come back. So guys I'm going to watch the temperature gauge make sure it's sitting at dead middle guys. Uh, I'm taking it for a first drive and then see what happens. Somebody spewed all over the road over there. It's so bad and so disgusting. But anyway, I've been driving for about 10 minutes or so. The car is warmed up. Uh, I'm actually going to show you. So this is where you want your temperature gauge to be sitting. Right in the middle. That's going to be perfect. So we're going to drain the car again and then take it for another spin. So guys, this, is, this has been the last flush that I've done now. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to add some water and I'm going to add this. Now I had this laying around in my garage. I'm actually going to pop this in. What you're going to do is, it basically acts like um, a, a degreaser. It degreases everything in the radiator and flushes out all that gunk and whatever access is laying on the walls of the radiator. we have to mix so you have to put this is one liter so you're gonna have to mix it with one liter of water as well so I got a one I got a two liter bottle here yeah. um, unfortunately I don't have anything to measure it but I have a two liter bottle which is perfect um, I'm not gonna go and spend money on something that I have at home 
So I actually got this before the lockdown, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all how to how to edit it, right? Um, when it comes to any freeze, there's a green one and there's a pink one. Now, the pink one, uh, you can either use the pink one or the green one. It's up to you. With the JDM cars, uh, it doesn't really matter. So I usually use the green one in all my cars. So I'm actually gonna stick to the green one, and we're gonna fill it in. So check this out. I'm gonna pour it all in here. And make sure you get all of it in there. Don't don't let antifreeze uh, sit around. And it's quite clean. You check it out. It's really clean. Look at this guys. So I'm gonna pour it all in there. Make sure you get don't leave this lying around, don't let it drip around on the floor. Don't let any dogs or cats or any type of pet that you have near the stuff. This thing is very lethal and please don't go and be stupid and drink this stuff. So that's out. And you can see it filled up like one liter of water already. Half of it is full. Check this out. It's full. So although it looks tasty but don't try it now. So we're gonna add another liter of water. I'm just guessing here, I'm not measuring, measuring anything. But uh, I'm gonna get water. Once you're done with this, yeah, don't shake it around and don't do anything about it. Just fill it in your radiator cap. Open your radiator cap, fill it in the radiator, and also fill in your reservoir as well. You can fill water in your reservoir, but fill this first and then fill the remainder with water. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, comment down below what you think I should do next and what content you guys would like to see. Remember to smash that like, that like button and subscribe to my channel. Check you guys.